G'day. Um, long time no see. Um, yeah, been busy. Uh, a little too busy. And uh, anyways, I was just about to start making me or to carry on making myself a uh, machinist level. So let me flip this around from Ugly Mug and show you some of what I'm up to. I'm in need of a very precise machinist level for a specific use. And uh, a good starret, starret, don't know how you pronounce it, uh, it was a few hundred bucks at least, even on the used market. But I discovered that they sell the vials, they sell replacement vials, which makes sense. And damn it, about 20 bucks. There's a the little, look at how precise this thing is. I just, just barely move. It is wickedly precise. This is a vial for a uh, 98.8, I believe. Yep. And uh, so it came. It was just a glass vial from everything I've read about them. They are very delicate, even handling with your fingers. So I, it measures about 0.53 outside diameter and copper tubing is about 0.54 it was a perfect fit I made sure it was clean on the inside and then I added a little layer of Teflon tape just plain old plain old plumbers Teflon tape to uh, give a wee bit of padding also to make the vial all the more legible. This is my granite plate. Um, I've been shimming it ever so slowly. I got the sucker so if I spin it, um, it's stain level. So now I'm not going to use a steel base of any kind. I'm going to use this cedar here, which is vertical grain. It's also been in my possession for. I want to say 20 years at least, so it's very, very dry, very stable, very well seasoned, and my workshop is climate controlled, always between 42 and 47 percent humidity, so it'll be ultimately very stable, and even more stable to temperature variations um, than steel or aluminum would be. So, and if it changes, you know, with, uh, it, won't, it, it won't change with, with temperature changes. Wood is very stable for that. Wood is notorious for humidity changes, but being vertical grain, quarter sawn, any which way you want to call it, and very well seasoned, the worst it could do is maybe a little e huh and very easy for me to true. And for the use that I need it for, being lightweight will also um, be a great advantage because if I'm putting a heavy machinist um, cast iron even a little eight inch on my piece it may actually distort um, more than when I'm actually using it in use so um, instead of spending 300 bucks I'm gonna spend probably 25 if all told this thing, the vial itself cost me, ah, I want to say 20 bucks or so shipped here. And everything else I've got comes from my scrap bin. Um, but if you were able to go out and buy everything, a small length of copper tubing, a um, couple of copper clamps, some ends, and a uh, little bit of plot de Paris or plaster of Paris to set it in there. That's what I'm about to do next. So I'm not, uh, this channel is not monetized or anything, so I don't make any money with this, but I like to show you guys what I'm doing. And you don't need to watch me mix some plaster and try to stuff it in the ends there somehow. So I'll be back when, uh, I'll be back when I'm back. Hang tight. And we're back. So I've trimmed this guy out. God, that's light. 
Um, eight inches long by what do we got for dimensions? About seven eighths, I believe. Yeah, about seven eighths. Um, say one three sixteenths tall, and um, mixed up a teeny tiny batch of plaster of Paris and I've made these little stands for the end they're just caps just uh oh, still have water in that one I, I washed them out make sure there's no flux left and uh, what these are going to do I haven't figured out I'm going to go on each end with the tube I'm just going to press them in I'm not going to solder them in obviously because that's in that way there, if I have to replace that vial, if I have to do any kind of work, meh, easy enough. And if I ever have to um, remove the plaster and try to save the, the vial, yeah, same way we take it. <laughs> As kids, when we broke an arm or broken a leg and we got tired of waiting for the doctor to come around and take the cast off, you just soak it. And uh, warm water and the plaster will just boop. And I should push out right now. She's good and solid in there. And uh, oh, by the way, the copper tube itself was just—it's just regular half-inch um, copper pipe for uh, for tubing. I forget which one it is. Uh, your typical household stuff. I polished it up a little bit. Didn't have to bother. And for the notch, I just went to the bench grinder and. Uh, da -da 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 because copper gets hot really, really quickly. I just made up a couple handles. I don't know where the other one is. It was here. But a couple handles, just slipped them on. And uh, it's right there. Just ground it up. And then I finished it up with files and uh, and such. So, I'll now uh, start putting this up. How will I adjust it, you ask? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Um, in between these, I'm going to put a rubber O-ring. Should be just enough compression. This should be just about jiggy do as it is, but just enough. Um, and put a rubber O-ring underneath one end, or both ends. And if I need to um, raise one end a little bit more, if I need more adjustment, I can always add little shims or an extra rubber o-ring um, they'll compress enough I believe besides we'll see what happens All right back in a few and here we are now should be able to see there we go the lowering you see you got a little more compression on this side and on that side I've got the uh, granite plate here pretty well spot on I believe and I've done just a few minutes worth of tweaking on this and boy how to even just standing different spot I can get it to change okay so it seems about right right there so I'm not gonna move I'm just going to spin this and we'll let her settle down. This thing is finicky. And there we go. Sorry, trying to get this thing to focus on what I want it to focus. There we go. How's that, boys and girls? 20 bucks, 25 if you had to buy everything from scratch. Okay, so I could actually go down a hair more here. But you get the point. I now have me, and actually the weight is quite nice. It's a little top heavy. Uh, I'm okay with that. Now, 
every time I'm going to use this, I will have to double check and probably have to tweak it. Uh, I'm expecting that. So it's not a grab it out of the toolbox, it's ready to go. But when I do need it, and right now I do need it, so I'm going to head straight to its intended use. But hey, 20, 25 bucks. As, it's as precise as a 98.8 star, staret. Somebody uh, tell me how to pronounce that. And uh, it's got the exact same vial. I can adjust it. Um, it I, as I say, I'm not expecting it to hold adjustment like the real deal, but it weighs a lot less. It'll actually, it's custom to what I, and I didn't have to shell out uh, 250, 300. I'm in Canada, so retail for these I think is 280, 289 US. We're talking 350, 400 bucks shipped. And even in the used market, I wasn't seeing anything below 250, 280, and uh, <laughs> 25 bucks. Plus, the weight of the real McCoy wouldn't have been ideal for me. So, there you go. Just to give people ideas what can be done. And yes, I did check the flat nest. I worked it a little bit. I have a one and a half thou here. And I am within one and a half thou anywhere of true flat. It is plenty accurate for what I'm going to do. I mean, quite, quite the little do-hut. So, now if anybody's 